Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna claim it pays to read and follow directions, but they want you to compute the area between um, this fifth root problem and this uh, parabola. The first thing to do is recognize they did give me a picture, and they say figure five on page 37. So I wanna label uh, what these curves are, and I do clearly see the parabola. This is a parabola, by the way. What's probably gonna be x equals three y minus y squared, and this curve uh, over here, that's gonna be uh, that fifth degree, uh, I'm sorry, the fifth root, which is y equals the fifth root of x plus one, all right? The next thing, kind of looking at the picture, uh, I realize you, you might think these points of intersection are easy to come up with. They're not though, all right? They're really difficult to come up with. So they've been provided for you, all right? So, you know, one point's been given over here. That's this point here, by the way. And this point over here is right over there. I definitely see the area they're talking about. So I'm gonna put my representative rectangle in. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'll do it in this direction over here, all right? As I do that though, my claim over here is that you have a, better have a clear idea what you're doing over here. And we're taking a differential now to be dy. So what I wanna do is I wanna write an integration down um, with the y's, all right? So I'll put this over here. So we're gonna, we're gonna start at the lower y. And what's the lower y gonna be? It's this number over here. All right, I'll put this over here. So minus 0 0.3049. And the upper y is this number over here, which is 1.26. We'll look at the key later, by the way. 137. And the differential, again, we're going uh, with the y's is dy. Now, my trouble over here is that I realize that if I'm going to do this over here, the upper value is going to be some x value. And what's the x value for the Right, that parabola. So I'm going to write that down. 3y minus y squared. That's the upper value. Then i got to take away the lower value. Well, the lower value is this other curve. Right, that's the other curve over here. Unfortunately, it says y equals. I need to solve that for x to find out what the x value is. So let's put this over here. And this would be y to the fifth power. I want to get the x, by the way. And that would be x plus 1. And, you know, kind of going forward on it, really not that bad. What would x equal? x would equal y to the fifth minus 1. So write that down. Something happened there. I blew up too much. I'm sorry. I really screwed up there. I didn't write down what I was going to write down. Let me erase this over here. So y to the fifth minus 1. All right? Now, by the way, we're not asking you to do this integration. However, it's not a bad integration to do. What's bad about the integration, though, is the evaluation at the limits is bad. So I'm going to say this is sufficient. This is an exam question. I would basically say set the integral up, and you did that. I wouldn't ask you to do that, you know, really bizarre arithmetic. So let's take a look, see if we got it right. All right? What am I looking at? Did I get the lower limit correct? Yep. Did I get the upper limit correct? Yes. Did I get the integrand correct, which is 3y minus y squared? Yeah, I did that good too. So minus y5, minus or minus one is plus one dy. They also did the evaluation. And I want to, again, emphasize that I often will resort to using a calculator to do the arithmetic. And the reason for that, the arithmetic gets difficult. And if it gets difficult, I'll use a calculator. Most problems on exams, though, the arithmetic will dip, <coughs> be incredibly easy. Or if it's not easy, we would not ask you to do the arithmetic. We'd just ask you to write it down. Thank you for paying attention.